Joining us on the dais are Miami head coach Katie Meyer, sophomore Andia Banks, redshirt junior Beatrice Mom Premier, and senior Mesa Hoff. Coach Meyer, if you could start us with an opening statement, we'll go into questions for the student athletes. Um, I just thought it was a tremendous basketball game. We were so prepared for their run. I mean, emotionally, mentally, we were prepared for it because they're so talented and um, they're, you know, one of the top three three-point shooting teams in the country and we, we kind of held them in check in the first half. So we knew second half it would come, but I just didn't like our response. We, we, we answered their threes with fatigued offense. And that isn't something, we're lucky we got away with that because when they went on that run, our answers weren't sharp. And so it, it, it was two, two conversations in the huddle before we woke up. And then I thought we went back to really executing crisply and sharply in the timing of our cuts. And our guards sort of had a little bit more of a command and a posture. Um, but what a great program Florida Gulf Coast is, what great fan support they have. Uh, everybody knows what a great coach he is. And um, um, they always, I mean, every year, you know, you just admire them. I mean, just, just admire how hard they play and how much guts they have. And, um, you know, I, I wish they were like in Alaska so we wouldn't draw them, you know, because <laughs> we seem to draw them. This is my third time in the postseason that we keep getting them and they're very, very good, you know, and um, it's, it's, it, it's, you know, he's just doing a great job down there. So um, as far as my team is concerned, India Banks, Big Shot Banks, what'd you say you are now? <laughs> Playoff Banks? Um, she just carried us. I mean, obviously Mason B have been carrying us all year, but India was the X factor. By a thousand percent, um, her her the timing of her shots and, and her defensive rebounding. Um, but I think every shot she hit was huge for us. It was an answer. So um, you never find a teammate that cares more about her team and in fact than her and her coaches than India Banks. She is she is like the 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 warm fire on this team. Like she cares and cares and cares and gives and gives and gives. And we needed her, and so she came through. Thank you, Coach. We'll go into questions for the student athletes. If you could please address your question to a specific student athlete. If it is for all of them or multiple, we'll have one of them start. Question for India. What, did, what about these big moments that makes you shine on this stage? 15 points, 10 rebounds last year, and then the words that Coach just said. What, what's it about these big moments? Um, <clears throat> I feel like that I just feel like that the team needs me the most, like when it's like big time. So I just try to be there for them, like when they need me the most. And today just happened to be one of those days. For Beatrice, Beatrice, when they made that run, uh, the team huddled. Uh, what did you talk about when they made that run? <laughs> Um, just stay composed and, you know, everything we worked for in practice will, will carry us on throughout the, um, throughout the rest of the game. So just stay composed and be confident. Be confident. Question for all three of you. Coach talked a lot about yesterday, about how this was going to be a style game. They're a three-point shooting team. You guys are kind of relying on your bigs all year long. How do you guys combat that three-point shooting, try and eliminate that in the first half, like Coach mentioned, and rely down low? Mesa, maybe you could start with that one. Um, we worked a lot of it on it in practice. Uh, we had some schemes, but in the end, it was just um, everyone had to be able to guard on the perimeter. and. Um, at times they got it and they got us, and at times I think we had a very solid D and um, it was there. So um, in the end, it, <laughs> it worked in our favor. Go ahead. Um, we had to run, I felt like we had to run them off the line, um, not let them shoot easy open shots. Yeah, that's basically it. I feel like, um, like what May said, we just had to run them off the line and make them attack into our bigs. And then at the end, you just had to play one-on-one -on -one defense to close out the game. You want my answer, too? <laughs> uh, great job by running them. But the, the wall-ups at the end, I mean, 37 defensive rebounds. Like, that, 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 there were, that's ridiculous. Um, that's a real big number for us. And I thought that um, that was the game. It was these three right here that were 
crushing the, the defensive glass for us and really important rebounds. Mesa, I wonder what are your thoughts for Sunday's last home game right in Arizona State? Um, I have to say, I, I wasn't thinking there yet. We, we're thinking one game at a time. Um, it's going to be special, and it's, it's a great opponent. Um, we're going to give it our all, and that's all we can do. And I'm very excited for it. Now we have another game to look forward to. Sorry, a little bit of the same question for the other two. Do you know anything about Arizona State? The, the top player's name, one of the top players' names, it happens to be IBIS, which you guys are familiar with. Uh, certain bird. Oh. Uh, no, they have not. Any, any one nothing? game at a time. Uh, we have not, not talked really about anybody. One game at a time. <laughs> I know they point guard pretty good, so. Yeah. They have a pretty good three-point shooter in Ekmark, too. Oh, uh, so yeah. how about how about man-to-man? -man? They have very tenacious man-to-man. -man. Do you guys feel comfortable against this really tenacious man-to-man -man defense? Maybe NDA, you could start with that one. Um, I feel like that's our type of game plan, man-to-man -man defense. I mean, when they play man-to-man, -man, we can either we can shoot and then we have two big stick we can throw it into and just work out. Florida Gulf Coast played a pretty tough man-to-man. -man. They, they, they really do. They are really a very, very, everyone talks about the three-point shooting. They are a superb defensive team. Absolutely superb. Mm -hmm. Just for anyone up there, the crowd tonight, how big of a factor was that when FGCU came back, they were able to tie it up, even took the lead? How was it rallying around that home crowd? Beatrice? <laughs> um, honestly, I guess they hype us up too. So, you know, when they scored, they crowd went crazy and our, when we scored our card went crazy so you know we we had more energy I guess any other questions for the student athletes again to any of the three players uh, you will have a decided home court advantage on Sunday not a lot of travels from Arizona State how do you think that'll boost you guys Amesa um, I hope everyone who came out tonight is going to come out again, and then it's going to have, like, we're going to have an even bigger advantage of having us in our corner. And it's great when they're out there, they're loud, and today, too, it was, like, kind of in between the, their fans and our fans, like, they were rioting, and uh, <laughs> not really, but it sounds good. But, um, no, it's great when we have fans out here, and our students are behind us, and it's just... Uh, good. So, and against Arizona State, like, they're not going to have a lot of people traveling down here. So, uh, that's going to be in our advantage. Great. Thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you. Go to bed. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll go into questions for Coach Meyer. Katie, there were several close calls tonight. Uh, with 12 and there four. were what? There were a lot of a couple, couple of close calls to, to today. Uh, how, what does it say about the state of uh, college basketball, women's college basketball? So I don't understand. Close calls in my game or in, just... in other games, your game? Oh, you know? well, I, yeah, it's great, isn't it? I mean, you know, you're sitting there watching. Try, I, I tried not to watch too much because for me to stay awake by 9:30 is a big deal. So my energy, I just, I was watching some games. Carolyn Keeger's game, you know, who played here and uh, coached with me here, and. Um, so I was had my eye on some games, but I really tried to not because they were so emotional, you know, the, uh, the Iowa and Drake. I mean, th these games were just crazy, um, and I was glancing at them, but I really tried to stay away because I, I knew this was going to be a close game too, and I wanted to have all my focus and energy, you know. It, 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 but for women's basketball, it's fantastic. Coach, you mentioned the offense in the first half, fatigue offense, as I think were the Third words quarter. You, third quarter yeah. were, were the words you used. You guys cut down on the turnovers after pretty much that mark. What changed in the game, turnover-wise? From which to which? Um, from before, you guys had 11 turnovers in the first half, uh -huh. only four in the second. What changed? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, in the third quarter, we were playing so slow, we, there were no possessions. I mean, I, I was fine with our uh, 11 turnovers, but they weren't um, – there's a vulnerability, okay? So a bad shot's a turnover, too. Um, that's what we did in the third. So we didn't turn it over, but we took tired jumpers and we ran tired offense. So those bad shots, their fast break points in the third quarter were from horrible shots. And 
that's a turnover in our book, okay? So we, we cross the half court, we have the ball, we want to score. We get an offensive rebound, whatever. And um, so, you know, it's a possession game for them, and that just fueled them. And, and some, I, sometimes you'd rather travel and have a dead ball turnover and have them have to set against our – I thought our zone traps were really good tonight. And we just kept giving them live possession, live possession, live possession, off the back of the rim, off the front of the rim, nobody rebound, nobody getting back. And it hurt us a lot. But, you know, we hadn't played in two weeks, and, and that's a factor. And it's very, very hard to keep your team fresh during that break. That's just the way our conference breaks it down. But um, you could tell that they were their third quarter legs were there, and our players were like, I don't have my legs. And I'm like, yeah. I mean, it's hard to mimic a game, you know. Sorry, Coach, looking ahead uh, Sunday. I'm sure you've done some studying. No, I have not. Not at all? No, I have not. Well, I'm sure you're aware of some of their top players. Like Ekmark, a three-point shooter. Uh, I do some, know her, yeah. You can't, yeah. You I mean, can't I know they're great players, but uh, no, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm not lying to you. Okay. I'm not, does, you have no idea how important this game was and where my focus was. Does But does Gulf Coast give you kind of a good preparation for the next opponent because of the three-point shooting, because of the man-to-man? -man. Yeah, I mean, so does Syracuse. So, I mean, we, we've had quite a schedule, you know, and so I'm going to pick through it, and, you know, I'll have some bags under my eyes tomorrow. Um, but my assistant coach, Tia Jackson, who she's fantastic, and she's got the scout, and um, we had a little five-minute meeting real quick before I came in here to give me a rundown, but um, – I've played against – I've Back coached 10. against Charlie before. Oh, yeah. I think she's just the greatest. I, I have so much admiration for her. I know how she runs her program. I know how the defense works. Um, but, yeah, you know, this is – you know, we, we're not looking ahead. And you respect the Pac-10, I'm sure. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. Else? What impressed you the most? How the team responded after their run? Yeah, that, that's the thing that's going to get lost in all this, you know, I, I, except for the people who know Florida Gulf Coast and they know that, oh, my God, they weren't hitting the threes in the first half and then they started hitting them and that's going to be a problem for Miami and what are they going to do with their bigs? The whole problem showed up in the third quarter, the matchup issue. Um, but uh, the maturity, I mean, you know, there's a lot of pressure. I mean, we're playing at home. We're, we're supposed to be such a higher seed. Um, we knew they were a great team. And I think that, that we prepared our team for a close game the whole time. I mean, I was like, oh, boy. Ladies, it's going to come down to special situations. I, I never thought this would be a runaway game. And so when we got to that moment and we put our fours up for the fourth quarter, when we put our fours up, I, I, I said, we're good. I, I really felt that we were mature and we'd been in the situation before and we were going to start making some plays and getting some stops. I really just saw it in my team's just their spirit. They weren't beaten. They were faithful. Coach, I know we asked the student athletes about the home crowd. How cool was it? I mean, second time in three years. I, I, yeah, I couldn't think. I just want to hug everyone who came out. Like, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. And, you know, I, I had a moment um, just personally for the journey that has been Miami and the building and the building and the dream and the can we ever do this and will we break through and will we? And I, I felt like, you know, I was really emotional just a real quick right before the game, just being out, out of pride and just gratitude for the administration and for uh, the student body. And for, I mean, just it, there are times when it just gets very humbling and you just really appreciate the support. And that was one of them for sure. And it helped us win. A follow up to that as well. I don't know if you got a chance to look at the student section, but Manny Diaz was in the front row of the student was section. He? There were numerous student athletes from other sports. How special is that, knowing that you're getting that support from other teams? Hey, anytime I need a, a retweet, I, I text Manny and I say, hey, Manny, help me out, buddy. And he's right there for me. Uh, he's amazing. He's so all in to the whole culture that is Miami. And, uh, you know, I use his phrase about we, you know, the meat off the bone with our defensive rebounder from our guards. You know, I, I steal stuff from him because he's special. So I appreciate that. I saw a lot of athletes, I, I, you know, a lot of people. Uh, Coach L texted me, said he's on the road recruiting, but he would have been here. So it's a family down here. Um, but people know what it means, you know. But I think the other thing, too, is that we, we're very grateful. We say thanks. You know, thanks for coming. And sometimes um, that doesn't happen in big-time college athletics. But we, we, we love the support and we need it. Coach, I don't want to cast a pall on, on the victory, but how upsetting was that to see what happened in front of your uh, locker before? I don't want to talk about that. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Coach Meyer. Congratulations.